First on ABC 7 tonight, we get some answers to some tough questions over a public safety issue that could put you at risk if you call 911. Now, three calls were made to 911 by a crime victim in the district, and each time the 911 operator couldn't hear the caller and then hung up without ever making any effort to reach the victim. Jennifer Donald first broke this story. Tonight, Jay Corf stays on the investigation. He's now live with us with the story. Jay. Leon City officials are now admitting that two of their call takers didn't follow policy because those call takers didn't call back a crime victim in need of help. And thanks to ABC 7's investigation, action is being taken. We should have called it back. That's the bottom line. Wanda Gaddison, spokesperson for the Office of Unified Communications, says two call center employees disregarded procedure in the harrowing seconds after this crime victim called 911 three times Sunday night. I actually got more scared after those three calls didn't go through. The 28-year-old Russian grad student says she called for help after a man put a gun to her head demanding money. She says that he fled when she screamed. But Gaddison says the woman's 911 calls were silent, meaning there was a carrier issue or the victim's phone was muted. If you cannot hear me, at least tell me that you cannot hear me. Gaddison says per policy, the two dispatchers involved should have done two things. First, they can use technology called TTY to communicate with people who are hearing impaired. If that doesn't work, they're supposed to call the person back. They didn't call back. The TTY was not activated and they didn't call back. I'm not sure why they didn't. Now an investigation has been launched and all 82 call takers are being retrained. The council member who oversees public safety in the district is concerned. They need to be rely on the fact that you can use 911 anywhere, anytime, and we'll get, you will get help to you. And that's what we need to know as a city. We absolutely feel for her. It's an unfortunate incident and ha that happened is, I think it's, it's quite isolated. We don't, we don't hang up on people though. I just want to make that abundantly clear. We should stress there could be potentially a larger issue here. City officials admit 70 to 75 percent of all 911 calls are made with cell phones now. They have the technology to track the locations of most cell phones, but I'm told the best that they can do is get about 50 to 300 meters within the area of a cell phone call. Reporting live, Jay Corp, ABC 7 News. Okay,